the phrase 8-bit might make you think of 8-bit games. These games are fun, but sometimes hard, and their pixel graphics remind us of a simpler time. But by modern standards, these 8-bit games are old, slow, and imprecise. So it might surprise you to learn that AI often uses 8-bit numbers. How can that be? Doesn't AI use numbers that are new, fast, and precise? Yes, for two of these three. Whereas here, only one of these three preconceptions about 8-bits is true. Which are true, and why do AIs use 8-bit numbers? First things first, a bit is a binary digit, 0 or 1. An 8-bit number just has 8 of these. But the way old video games and AI systems use 8-bit numbers isn't really the same. An AI can use 8-bit numbers to do some, not all, of its math. Whereas the term 8-bit, as it applies to old games, describes the width of certain parts of their hardware and is associated with a bygone era of computing. 8-bits might sound slow because computers in that era were slower, or because of 90s game commercials like this. Let's review the numbers. Sega Genesis is 16 bits. 3DO is 32 bits. The Atari Jaguar is 64 bits. Which is more advanced? Clifford! Huh? Maybe Clifford here is confused because the teacher is wrong. More bits isn't always better. Like the teacher is pushing this idea that more bits are faster. But if we're just doing math, and I'll tell you AI models are actually just massive systems of math, why would short, simple numbers like this be slower than numbers like this? They're not. It's also not accurate to say 8-bit numbers are old. The AI hardware running these 8-bit calculations certainly isn't old, and researchers are constantly finding new, better ways to use 8-bit integers. There are also developments like this 2022 paper from NVIDIA, ARM, and Intel that proposes two new 8-bit formats for floating-point numbers. Here's a quick example of what these look like if you're curious. So 8-bit numbers are still developing in new ways. I told you in the intro that only one of these and two of these were true. So you can see that AI uses 8-bit numbers that are fast, new, and imprecise. But how imprecise are they? Here's a bad example. Let's put this number in 8 bits. Here's as many digits of pi as I can fit on screen. In a 32-bit floating point number, a very common type in AI and graphics cards, you can keep this much. What about in 8 bits? Many AIs use 8-bit integers, called int8. What's pi look like as an int8? Right, it's just 3. Now admittedly, this is a rough simplification. In the real world, various methods of quantization will scale and bias the original numbers down into 8 bits to help the AI model stay accurate with fewer bits. But you're still losing some information, more than you would with 16 or 32 bits, both formats that are also common in AI, just to be clear. Why accept this loss? Yes, 8 bits are faster, but the real key is actually more obvious. To discover this key point, let's take a quick step back, I promise it'll be quick, and ask, what is AI, really? I said earlier that AIs are systems of math. Let me clarify, they're functions. Here's a simple function, like you'd see in math class. It takes input and produces a number for output. AIs are not entirely different, but when an AI takes our input and gives us output, we call it inference. The output might look like a sentence or an image to us, but inside the computer, it's all numbers. Our easy function gets a number for output by first multiplying by 2 to get 6 as an intermediate value, and then adding 1. Here's a simplified formula for one tiny part of a neural network, like those in ChatGPT or Stable Diffusion. You can see it also has values to multiply and add. Values like this are the parameters people are talking about when they give the size of an AI model. Training AI is just the process of finding good parameters. The problem is that AI models have billions or trillions of parameters, 
plus a lot of intermediate values. We'd like to keep all those numbers close to the data-hungry AI hardware. But this table, that is, the on-chip memory that holds data as we work with it, is small. And getting things onto the table, that is, transferring data onto the chip, is often an even bigger problem, costing time and energy. Now, hardware manufacturers are working on this, and there are other solutions in development, like computing in memory instead of moving data around. But still, the parameter count is growing at a ludicrous speed. We'll need to combine multiple solutions, both hardware and software, to close the gap. Do you see where this is going? If we drop from 32 to 8 bits, our waiter and our table hold four times more, opening the door to further AI growth. Plus, because we're transferring less and doing math with smaller numbers, we save energy and time. These optimizations also help AI models run on smaller devices. So what's the downside? You'd think all these little inaccuracies would catch up to us making the AI dumber than it should be. But actually, research shows a minimal loss in quality for using 8 bits versus 16 or 32. How can that be? The details differ between models, but let's take a look at a couple simple explanations. One method is to train the model with 16-bit or 32-bit numbers, then quantize down to 8 bits for inference. Done right, this maintains accuracy, but lets the model run much more efficiently on smaller devices. Or here's another, even simpler explanation. Remember how I said an AI model is a function, a very complex function, with billions or trillions of parameters? With so many parameters, maybe some of them can be slightly off, and we still get a good result. For example, we still get a sentence that makes sense, or an image we like. But we've saved time, saved energy, and made the most of available memory capabilities by using 8-bit numbers that are small, developing in new ways, fast, and imprecise. But even with that imprecision, we can use AI to solve problems, work faster, and create things that are beautiful. I'm Code Slate, and I hope this video helped you clear up some misconceptions about 8-bit numbers, or helped you understand more about how AI works, like what parameters, training, and inference are. Check out these other videos for more on how numbers work inside a computer. Thank you! Oh, you're still here. Is it because you're thinking, if 8-bit numbers are good because they're small, aren't 4 better? Or 2? or one. And I want to say it's great you're thinking about that. The answer is that research is ongoing. Check the description for some links.